Hey guys, thanks for being here and watching. This is the video that I'm sharing from Amanda S. Vita. I'll link her down below. This is a, a, a nice little angle of what Sam says about this investigation. And we're just going to compare it to some of the statements that Lindsay made. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here we go. Everybody, please. So I am Sammy Smith. I'm in charge of the Teen to Teen Talks. She says that she's in charge of the Teen to Teen Talks. Now, it's interesting because law enforcement is also there on the same grounds that she is. They're listening to what she's saying. However, they're not stopping her. So I just wonder what the motivation and thought process was in allowing this to happen and be filmed and put on national TV, essentially. I've seen a lot. I see a lot of faces here. I know a lot of you. We go to school together. I've seen you around at this party. I've seen you around. Please, please, if you have given a statement to the police, that's fine. I don't care. I need every single teenager here. If you are... What else stands out to you, Lindsay, about that night as you talk to her friends about the conversations that they were having, what was going on at the party? Um, any of those clues rising to the surface, your mother's instinct, like honing in on something particular? I am letting the police and the teens talk to one another. I, I am not a trained investigator. I am not someone who has any experience with finding missing children. If you can, please come give us a teen to teen talk. We are getting more information that's more personal, completely confidential. Parents, encourage your kids, but do not force them to. This is not something they have to do. It's highly encouraged, but please, all teenagers that are here right now, please come talk to us right now. It's not, um, it's not my position to, to, to talk to any of these people and try to figure out what happened. I'm, I'm leaving that all to everyone who I trust and I know has the capability and um, the determination. What I'm trying to show you here is how Lindsay is n unable to answer the question but she, but essentially she says that she does not want to give her opinion on the stories of her friends, of Kylie's friends, I mean, but clearly has trusted even Sam to take a lead on the investigation. And as we know, MC, the local Truckee resident, is someone who is asking questions, trying to get interviews, secretly recording people. But Lindsay doesn't even want to give an opinion of what happened to her daughter on live. So that is just something interesting to take note of. This is a quote from the son. She was telling her mom she was going to be the designated driver because that's how she was going out to the party, giving an alibi so that her mom didn't freak out and say, I want you home earlier, Smith told the U.S. son. What does this mean to you, y'all? What do you guys think about this? Placer Sheriff spokeswoman Angela Masalam said Kylie told friends at the party that she wanted to go home around midnight. Shortly afterwards, Shortly thereafter, her phone went offline. Now, check out what Lindsay uh, says. So I reached for my phone and I grabbed, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, um, I grabbed my phone and I looked for her location that she always shared with me in the last, uh, the last update it had was from the party site about midnight. And so at that point, I, I reached out to her dear friend to see if she was there. And once we found out that she wasn't there. So, hmm. so what I'm thinking, because now we have heard and read about shortly after midnight, 12.03. So 12.03 is the last time that mom had, he, had any information on Kylie through her family app. Why does she not mention the 12.33 time? I mean, 30 minutes is a, lar is a, is a huge jump, right? So in the, in the little uh, clip that I showed you, and I'll put it up here again, it says the last location data was at the campground where the party took place at 12.03. And there in the video, she speaks on the last location she had from her daughter was shortly after midnight. So what was it about at 12.33? That was dip, like, did she not get a family location from Kylie at 12.33? So you have to look at this, these times and it's the times and the accounts of the end of the party that don't make sense. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for being here and watching, and I'll see you soon. I love y'all. Bye.